Hey teachers, it's Kristen and I'm here to talk to you today about how to set up your rubric for your SLG. You may have tried to do this at the beginning of the year, but if you didn't set it up before you submitted your SLG to your administrator, you may need to reset that up so that you can be evaluated for the end of the year. So the first thing you want to do is log into Bloomboard and you want to find your goal review. It might be over here under current activities. Or if you get to your ePortfolio and you click on activities, you want to scroll down until you see goal review. Once you click on goal review, you should see student learning goals here at the top. Go ahead and click on that and this will take you to your SLG page. At the top, if this reads 100%, you need to make some changes to your rubric in order to be evaluated by your administrator. Don't worry, it won't change anything that you've already placed into the details about your SLG, and it's really easy to fix. Simply scroll down to the bottom of your page, and here where you see the SLG, you should have three measures. If you don't have any, we're going to add those right now. You'll need your administrator to open up your SLG in order to make these changes. So it should say down at the bottom, your meeting is in progress. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select on S1 implementation. And I'm going to add that as my first measure. Remember, this is your plan and how you're going to fulfill your SLG. Then I'm going to add a second one, the S S2 results. This is how your students performed on your student learning goal. And then finally, I'm going to add a third measure. This one is going to be the reflection. Once I've added all of these, I can go ahead and save my SLG. I think it saves automatically as well. And now when I go back to the top of the page, you should see 33%, 33%, 33%. If you see 25%, 25%, you may have accidentally added another measure. In order to remove this, you simply go to this little X here and remove measure. And again, then at the top, it should say 33, 33, 33. Now your administrator is ready to evaluate you on this rubric, and you're ready to reflect on how your students did on their SLG. The final and last step is to set objectives and request approval. Once you do this, it will be locked in and sent to your administrator, and then they'll be able to score you on your SLG. Hopefully this allows you to complete some of your teacher evaluation progress for the rest of the year. Have a great day, and that's all from Bloomboard.